Well, the big theme that we are discussing today is the unlock theme. Demand has come back in a big way. Uh, COVID cases, of course, are reducing. They continue to spike up, but overall, you get a sense that uh, you know uh, cities are opening up and people are coming back to spend. We speak with Crompton Consumer, that's a big manufacturer of fans, home appliances, and LED lights, to find out if indeed demand has returned. Matthew Job, the CEO of Crompton Con uh, Greaves Consumer Electricals, joins us now to talk about that. Matthew, good morning, and thanks for being with us. The narrative now is that demand has come back. It's better than the preceding months, but nobody knows whether it's going to sustain. Stain. Uh, what is the situation at your end? Yeah, that is true. You know, uh, when, uh, when the country went into lockdown somewhere in the mid of March and throughout April, of course, demand had almost reached zero because all the markets were closed. Uh, but with uh, you know, with, with unlocking starting to happen with, you know, from May, uh, I would say in May that the demand was roughly sixty percent for us of last year level, whereas in June and July that has come closer to ninety percent. Of last year level, so but you know in a normative year, uh, it will be ten percent up on last year. So if you look at it from that perspective, uh, it is still about fifteen percent below what you would normally expect. The other thing is the demand revival is not secular. As the markets go into intermittent lockdown and opening up, the the, the demand tends to ebb, uh, you know, and flow. But uh, I would say, in terms of the underlying demand, we have seen that when the market starts to open up. The, the demand comes back almost immediately. So I would say, uh, if I look at how, what we estimated three months ago, I think the revival in demand has been sooner and faster than uh, than what we had anticipated. Yeah, how have been the first two weeks of August? I would say very similar to to the last two months, June and July. I would say we are still uh, marginally behind last year's level in terms of what we see the demand. And you know, we have all uh, we have three levels of data only to June. Which is our primary sales, the, the sales of our distributors to the retailers, and also the tertiary offtake, you know, uh, as measured through third-party audit. That data is there only till June. So till June, all the three are following a very similar trend. As I mentioned, April was almost nil. Uh, May was 60 percent. June, 90, 95 percent. And our own primary offtakes in the month of July and August following a very similar pattern to June. So I would say, yeah, I would say marginally below still last year. Give us some regional color which we can extrapolate to other regions. For instance, the three big cities of uh, Delhi, Bombay, and uh, Ahmedabad have been showing a flattening of the curve. So, is it that in those places you are seeing any secular rise? Uh, any regional color that you can give us? Yeah, I would say there is a very strong correlation between uh, the the time the market is spent in lockdown and uh, the way the demand is you know has has has. Uh, has played out over the last four months. Uh, if I look at the last four months, the, the region, in, at least in our in our uh, in our business, which was worst impacted, was was West, and that's because you see all the key cities as you mentioned, uh, in Mumbai, in Ahmedabad, or Pune, a lot of the market remained under lockdown. So if I look at the first quarter, th that was the region which was worst hit. Now as Mumbai and uh, you know Ahmedabad slowly start, and the, and the, and the curve is uh, the COVID curve is flattening out, we do see that the gap. In terms of revival of demand between West and the other regions, is actually starting to narrow. But at the same time, I would say, for example, in the Eastern region, you know, in the months of June and July, we had a lot of markets under lockdown. For example, you know, all of Bihar, parts of West Bengal. So that's why I mentioned it's not a secular trend, and there's a very strong correlation between the way demand is coming back and the time the market is spending in lockdown. Okay, I have to ask you what's happening with the home appliances segment, especially the food preparation segment. You have mixer grinders, juicers, food processors. I understand that during the heat of the lockdown, there would have been a spike up in sales because a lot more people were cooking at home, there was no staff. But now that things have unlocked, um, do you think this demand surge in this particular segment may not be sustainable? Yeah, I think the demand has been strong in many parts of the appliances segment. In some in which we play, for example, the what you correctly mentioned as the as as, the, as a cooking segment, I think has seen strong demand. We also, you know, while there are other segments like home, the, like uh, like the personal grooming, which we have not played, also with you know the the reported demand has been pretty strong in the last couple of months. Uh, the question is, going forward, do we do we expect that this demand will start to come down? There could be some level of plateauing off, uh, but I think you know. A lot of the stuff uh, is, uh, in terms of uh, the way demand is played out, I would think that some of it is likely to sustain for a reasonable period of time. And I don't expect these markets to suddenly you know, go back and, and start to go down to normative levels. Uh, 
so we, we have a positive outlook on, on most of the appliances uh, segments for the okay. months to come. Matthew, uh, can you give us some color on what kind of products people are preferring? Is there a consumer down trading at all? Surprisingly, you know, if I look at uh, most of the segments we play in, surprisingly not anything significant. Uh, for, let, me, let me take, for example, the fan segment. Now, in the month of May, when the market started to open up, we saw a significantly enhanced demand, for example, for part of the fans category, which is table, pedestal, and wall. And that's a primarily table and you know, pedestal because of there are a lot of makeshift structures coming up, especially for you know for for for, for medical care of people who contracted COVID. A lot of makeshift hospitals coming up. To that extent, there was a short-term you know acceleration in demand for certain categories. But the surprising thing is, uh, you know, we don't see. For example, if you ask me, is is the demand for premium fans going down? If I look at all the trends that are available, including third-party data for the first quarter, premium fans, you know, market growth, uh, you know, of course, is is market is not growing. But if I compare with the other segments, there is no significant ground trading at all, which is which is quite against what we thought could happen. Okay, uh, another segment that you cater to, and I didn't know this actually. I just got to know that you uh, make pumps as well, especially agricultural pumps. Um, and uh, and residential pumps too, but particularly in agricultural pumps, have you seen a surge in demand? What percentage of your business comes from there, and what could the opportunities be? See, roughly twenty percent of our of our business comes from agricultural pumps, and I you know the agricultural pumps got a very strong correlation to the way the monsoon plays out. Uh, so you know when you have very heavy monsoon, the, the demand does go down. So the best the best kind of kind of uh, situation for us for for demand of agricultural pumps is. When there is a more sustained uh, monsoon, rather than there are a lot of monsoon in a short period of time. Uh, if I look at the first quarter in terms of overall pumps, we saw the demand was uh, again very. In fact, the two categories where I saw demand coming back fastest is actually in fans and pumps uh, because of obvious reasons. This is, mm. this is the peak period. Quarter one is peak period for fans and pumps. That's when uh, most people who need to buy these products buy them. Mm. So uh, the demand came back pretty quickly. And agricultural pumps, I would say. Has uh, has been at normal levels. I don't see any significant difference in terms of how demand has come back for residential and agriculture. Okay, I have two quick questions, uh, Matthew. How will margins pan out? You know, uh, if I look at the uh, uh, if I look at the first quarter, I, I would uh, try to differentiate between how the industry has performed and how we have performed. Uh, there has been significant uh, pricing pressure in in quarter one. Uh, because of because of the fact that the market is down, no? while I say demand has come back, we must we must realize that most companies in our industry their their top line contracted by roughly forty percent. So obviously there is a lot more players fighting for uh, for a smaller pie. Uh, so a lot of companies, in fact, almost every company saw uh, saw contraction of margins right from the from the top from the gross margin level all the way down to down to EBIT and and and, and profit before tax or profit after tax. In our case, I think we were we were very clear with the way we wanted to manage. We did not want to engage in a price war, uh, so we have only man, you know what, wherever we had faced rising pressures, we managed that through limited limited tactical interventions. So if I look at our own uh, margin structure in the quarter one, it has remained intact at every level. So if I look at gross margins, if I look at uh, EBIT, if I look at uh, PAT, at all levels, our profitability has been maintained. In fact, we are the only company in the industry. Which has managed to hold its structural profitability despite a 40 to 45 percent decline in revenues. Okay, so you'll keep your margins. Sir. Okay, we would have liked to go on, but uh, we are out of time. We'll come back and speak on another day with you. Thank you very much, uh, Matthew, for joining us. So, relatively a positive conversation that uh, you know, uh, with the unlock, uh, the uh, demand or the sales is almost 90 percent. Of what it was last July, we're still not growing, but at least the degrowth is uh, getting uh, less. We take a break on that note, and we come to another.